Okay, so I saw this on my Facebook timeline. This guy is a plus-sized male model. Yes, 25 years ago, this would have been a Chris Farley sketch. Now it's real. Uh, I guess that's a one-piece for women he's wearing there. And then uh, he does a little spin and... Ugh! Look at that blubber fly! In somewhat related news, Playboy is featuring its first transgender playmate. Yes, they're switching the Folgers crystals on the aging cornballs who still subscribe to Playboy. At this point, it's not merely a matter of tolerating disordered sexuality. By trying to induce men to feel lust for a biological man, they are actively trying to disorder sexuality. Now I think the religious right, who have been hyper-vigilant about sexualized images in pop culture for as long as there's been a pop culture, really wouldn't be able to make heads or tails of these things, since most of the sexualized pop culture of the past at least implicitly affirmed traditional gender roles. In fact, can't make heads or tails is the apt expression here, since what we're witnessing is an assault of the very categories and the very binaries a traditional view of sexuality takes for granted. So what say you? Is this some sinister campaign of cultural engineering, or is it simply desperate corporate trendiness that's sure to backfire? I can't say for sure myself, but I will say that it is alarming how quickly this is being foisted on the American public. So uh, please tell me what you think in the comments, and please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.